Eric, well, it's a chilly day, but it's also National Croissant, Croissant Day, and we're celebrating with Pistachio Pie Bakery, where you can sink your teeth into a delicious mouthwatering croissant, and they're here to tell us all about the multiple hours and days I hear <laughs> to make a croissant. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing good. Good. Yes, of course. I know it's chilly. It's cold. Thanks for coming up this morning. So, what is a croissant? A croissant is basically a pastry that has multiple layers of butter and dough. Now, I went and visited with you guys on Friday just a little bit. How many days does it take you guys to make a croissant? Well, we start on Thursday, okay. and that is when I make the croissant dough. <laughs> yes. Then we let it set overnight. So then Friday, that is when I start laminating and, and what shaping. And is, what is laminating? Laminating is the process of putting butter and making layers into the croissant. Okay. And then, yeah, Friday is rolling and shaping, and then Saturday and Sunday, that's when we start proofing and baking the croissants. Now, you kind of lay the dough out and put, what is it called, a butter? A butter book. A butter book. Do you got, how do you make a butter book, first basically, of all? Basically, <laughs> you've got to have softened butter, and you basically just Pound it. Pound it with yes. a rolling pin okay. and then you measure it out to a certain degree and then you And then it roll. sets overnight yep. okay. to chill before she puts it inside the dough. Yes, now croissants are your thing. Yes. What are what are your things? Um I don't do, I do a few things at the bakery. <laughs> um over Christmas I was doing the lefsa okay. and a stolen bread. Um, she's basically the one that runs everything. Yeah. I, uh, I do groceries and book work. <laughs> and <laughs> of course. So now we've got a cut croissant here, and this is the inside layers. And yes. you said that you keep on folding it to get those layers. How many yes. times do you guys fold it? Um, it is three times okay. that we fold. And it. you fold it and you send it through that? The roller. Yes, the roller. Yep. Awesome. I, I, I was watching and I was like, how long does this take? I did not believe that it took so many days and hours mm -hmm. to make a croissant. So what kind of croissants do you guys have? So we have a plain butter croissant, which is what we have. And then we have, we do a chocolate and it, then an almond. Okay. And this is the almond one. Yep. This is the butter one. Yep. Am I making a guess if this is a chocolate one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what's what's your favorite part, I guess, about making croissants? Um, I like the rolling out of the croissants. I don't know. It's just yeah. it's calming and stuff. So. You really get to think to yourself when you're doing all of that. Yep. Rolling out for days and hours and all of that jazz. So how do you get the chocolate? in a croissant. So when we're done laminating and we're going into shaping, we have these little chocolate batons. So you'll take two and then we'll just roll it up. Okay. And that's awesome. what there is to the Well, chocolate. thanks for sharing your guys' process with us this, mo this morning. It's very fun to learn about the different things that we just eat at the, from the bakery rather than making them.